What's up guys, Hong, OG Fitness. So today this question is from Jarrell Roberts. So he sent me an email. I did judo for five years and earned my green belt. I did completions and was pretty good at tournaments, but then I took a five year hiatus from it. But now I wanna get back into it, even though I don't remember all the techniques from when I was a green belt. Would you say it would be okay to resume with the belt I stopped with? That's a great question, Jarrell. And I already answered you in the email, a short answer. Uh, but I wanted to make this video and answer that same answer, but elaborate a little bit more on it. You did it for five years, bro. Five years is a long time doing judo and you competed, you did all the completions. So you did all the tests and all that. Even though it's been five years, I believe it's like riding a bicycle. It'll come back to you. You might have forgotten a few um, names of certain techniques, but guess what? A lot of black belts don't even know the names of those techniques anymore. The most uh, used techniques, you know, Osoto, uh, Seonage, you know, Ushimara. The techniques that are a little bit more common, that's what I mean. Like, yeah, they know those techniques. Some of them are, are get, get pretty funky, and if they don't use them often enough, then they, they forget them too. They don't know the whole, uh, the whole nomenclature, the whole syllabus of, the, uh, of uh, judo, right? That's the thing, right? Five years, five years of competition, so your skill, in terms of skill set, it's gonna come back to you quickly. In terms of the, uh, the nomenclature, the names of the techniques, that's gonna come back relatively fast too. And if you just sit down and just look it through, that's going to, uh, to accelerate the process. I believe that whatever club that you go to and you explain them their situation, you tell them, listen, uh, it's been five years. You know, I've done it for five years in the past. I've gotten to green belt, did all my completions. I even competed. Uh, I took a, high, a five year hiatus. Uh, and, and now I'm back, am I still green? They will tell you, yes, you're green. Or worst case, maybe they'll, they'll, they'll like maybe do an evaluation type of thing just to make sure you're up to par uh, according to their criteria. Every club has slightly different criteria. At the same time, they have more in common than differences because it's judo. Like we have, we have a system, uh, you know, of grading, right? So you like these many techniques, uh, for, for you know yellow belt, these many techniques for orange belt and so on. And of course you have to demonstrate that you not only know the names that you, you, that you could actually do them. It would, it would surprise me very much if you go show up to a club, you explain that to them and they tell you no, you have to start back at, at white. That would make no sense to me, no sense to me. It, it would have been different if for example, you were did judo for maybe a couple of months, a little while, but it was like so long ago, you were a kid and you don't remember, then uh, it would be a different story. But in your case, I mean, five years, green belt, competition, completion. If it was my club and I was the, uh, the coach, right? You know, somebody came up to me and told me that, I would definitely, yeah, no problem, you know? And of course, if they're not up to par uh, according to uh, my criterias, more or less, so to speak, then I would just bring them up to par before giving them the next belt. My first club where I was at, I've seen guys come in from different clubs, different areas, or who just restarted and they were like blue and green. They weren't as good as they should have been according to my coach's uh, standards for a blue belt or a green belt. But I mean, different clubs, different standards more or less, and depends how long ago they've been, they practiced and all that. They were never asked to like down retrograde we don't retrograde people, you know, you get a belt, it's your belt. Like if you decide to walk in and retrograde yourself, that's another story. But I think at, at your level, it wouldn't be uh, an honest thing to do, an honest representation of your skills. That's my opinion on it. I hope that made sense. Uh, and, and yeah, guys, keep the questions coming. I, I really uh, appreciate uh, this community. I do my best to uh, answer as much as I can and make the videos for you. And in the time that it gets edited, you know, so help me grow this channel, join me on my journey. You know what I'm all about? I'm all about fighting and competing in judo. Anyways, love you guys. Peace. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and click on the notification bell. Also, there's a link down below. If you guys click on it, it's gonna bring you to a page where you could follow me on all my social media platforms. And you can also apply for, uh, for coaching so that you guys can work directly with me. Also, one last thing guys, if you have any questions, right, send me an email. That's the best way to reach me. I read them and I'll, I'll answer your, your questions, man. All right, peace.